In this video, we are going to discuss about GE3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory exercise number 1C to develop a flowchart for the science series. Now let's see the syllabus for Regulation 2021. The syllabus Identification and Solving of Simple Real Life or Scientific or Technical Problems and Developing Flowchart for the same. Before entering into the science series, first let's see what is a flowchart. Flowchart are a diagrammatic method of representing algorithm. It uses an intuitive scheme of showing operation in boxes connected by lines and arrow that graphically show the flow of control in an algorithm. Now let's see what is a sign series. An infinitive series that approximates a given function on a specified domain by using linear combination of sines and cosines. It is a series which is used to find value of sine of x where x is the angle in degree which is converted to radian. Now let's see the lab manual for x is 1c. This is the lab manual and this is a formula we are going to apply for the flow chart for the sine series. This is a formula and this is the algorithm. This is a pseudocode and now we are going to see the flow chart. First, this is a symbol for start. So, this symbol is known as terminator. The terminator solala is a terminal point in a oval. The terminator shows the start and stop points in a process. For process la start pandradhuko, stop pandradhuko in the terminator symbol. Da, we use pandra. Next, we are seeing the arrow mark that is flow line or connector. The flow line connector shows the direction that the process flow. So in the direction of the process flow, that is the arrow mark in the connector in the flow line. Next, this is the box. This is known as data. That is input or output mentioned in the box. So the data flowchart shape indicates inputs to and output from a process. As such, the shape is more often referred to as input-output shape than a data shape. So, this is the input to the same thing. Output print pandra the kuna, this is symbol that we use pandra. Next, this is known as process symbol. It shows a process or action step. It is the most common symbol in flowchart. So, in the process, we use the rectangle shape symbol. This is known as process symbol. Then this is known as preparation symbol. As the name states, any process step that is a preparation process flow step such as setup operation. So that is in the symbol we use pandron. This is known as preparation symbol. Then again the same process symbol. Then again preparation symbol. And this is known as data symbol. It is input or output we will be using. And finally this is the terminator symbol for stopping. Finally, we have drawn GE3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory 1C exercise that is how to draw a flowchart for the science series. I hope you have understood. Thank you.